Now, the bicameral parliament is set to resume its sittings on Tuesday afternoon after a long recess with full entry for consideration by the Senate and also the National Assembly. Among the key issues in consideration of supplementary budget that seeks to reduce borrowing by 68 billion shillings and the formation of the office of the leader of opposition. The Senate will also be determining the formula, that formula for sharing revenue among counties. Gladys Mungai puts that story into perspective for us. The National Assembly and the Senate are set to embark on the legislative agenda on Tuesday afternoon following the long Christmas recess. After the approval of the House Business Committee, the two houses will embark on the consideration of key agenda under the second session in the tenure of the 13th Parliament. Given that the Treasury has already submitted the first supplementary budget for Kenya Kwanzaa administration, departmental committees have been considering the estimates with principal secretaries, with a report of the session expected to be submitted in two weeks. And obviously the first order of business would be to consider the supplementary budget uh, to ensure that uh, the government puts uh, funding uh, in the priority areas in the areas that is aligned to the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. So what we're doing here with the ministry, the departments and the state agencies is to rationalize um, what is priority and allocating monies to that, trying to see if we can, uh, we can get uh, a bit of what has been cut back onto the budget, if we can get a reasonable justification from the ministry or from the state departments or from the agencies, uh, we can argue that case. MPs will also consider the budget policy statement for the financial year 2023-2024, as well as the debate on the proposal to establish the office of the official leader of the opposition and we are in the discussion to see that uh, quite a significant amount is restored especially the critical ones that enables us to build the digital superhighway enables us to maintain the infrastructure that is already in place so that we can achieve the intended uh, purpose we are asking parliament they are the ones who give the money to reconsider so, but when there are budget cuts, you, of course, you adjust and do the, the most uh, urgent things. But in the long run, the main, main, main agenda is to increase funding. With the recent remarks by Minority Leader Opio Wandai that Azimio Lamoja One Kenya will be dehipping their members who have decamped to Kenya Kwanzaa, a section of MPs have termed the purge as hot air. It is a behavior that has been demonstrated by the opposition from a little bit time immemorial, but those dictatorial behaviors will not survive the changing times of, of leadership in Kenya. The leadership of President William Bruto is one that is welcoming everyone on board, including even those fellows right now that are trying to punish the rest. In the spirit of time, it's bound to fail because every of these leaders have a social contract with the persons who elected them. And the only way they can be able to achieve some of those social contracts is to work with the government of the day. And William Ruto is open to every, each and every individual to work with them. I know there is a lot of um, uh, all these reactionary things are uh, coming from the Azimio side mm -hmm. because basically they've been wanting to cage their uh, leaders as animals. Uh, but these are representatives of the people and they were elected on the will of the people and they will always act on the best interest of uh, the people and i believe the many mps who have come or who have expressed interest to work with the government side are doing so out of their love for their constitutions out of their love for this country and we welcome them we welcome their ideas we welcome their input because we want to build a bigger brighter better kenya that uh, our opponents are having a, a headache when they realize that what they sold can never be bought. Uh, there are so many people who are waiting for the timeline to end on the deadlines that they had on their agreements. Uh, when they signed up the Azimio agreements, they were time bound. That time is ending. And you will see uh, people uh, making a beeline for government. They will be running towards government because they realize that there is nothing um, anything you would call a promise on the Azimio side. So I believe that uh, it will be no, it will be politics unusual for quite a season as uh, people realign. But uh, I would imagine that every member who decides to realign is realigning for a bigger interest, which is the people that he represents. Other key legislative proposals expected before the House 
include a bill to entrench CDF and the National Government Affirmative Action and the National Government Affirmative Fund into the Constitution and the Finance Bill that will spell out the Kenya Kwanzaa's administration taxation policy. For Prime Edition, I'm Gladys Mongai.